Now, the thing about atheism is that I bought the t-shirt. Well, I just couldn't resist anymore. I just had to buy it. It's too funny. Now, some people might say, now, hang on a minute. What about your last video where you said, bless you equals fuck you? Your t-shirt says, God bless atheists. Aren't you contradicting yourself? Yeah, I am. It's called a joke. Praise be to Comedy Central. Um, I am, and that's because I can laugh at myself sometimes. <laughs> and uh, I, sorry, I don't have a lot for this video because I've been hitting the beaches a lot and generally playing around outdoors in the summertime. So um, what I do have is a list of jokes here for you. And I got these off a website. They're pretty funny. It says, the following are actual church bulletin board bloopers found, across, found in churches across the United States. Number one, scouts are saving up aluminum cans, bottles, and other items to be recycled. Proceeds will be used to cripple children. The Outreach Committee has enlisted, enlisted 25 visitors to make calls on people who are not afflicted with any church. Number three, the pastor would appreciate it if the ladies of the congregation would lend him their electric girdles for the pancake breakfast next Sunday morning. I think it was supposed to be grills. Well, girdles, I'm sure he'd be quite happy with those. Four, low self-esteem support group will meet Thursday at 7 to 8.30 p.m. Please use the back door. Uh, number five, for those who have children and don't know it, we have a nursery downstairs. <laughs> That's for the Catholics, that one. Um, number six, due to the rector's illness, Wednesday's healing service will be discontinued until further notice. I had somebody once try to heal me. I mean, he, it was just a cut on my knee once. A friend of my grandmother's, I think. She's not really religious, but apparently this old woman makes quite a successful business out of conning stupid people into laying their her horrible old gnarly hands on them. So, um, number seven, uh, re remember in prayers the many who are sick of our church and community. And number eight, the concert, uh, no, number seven, yeah, yeah, number eight, the concert held in Fellowship Hall was a great success Special thanks due to the minister's daughter who labored the entire evening on the piano, which, as usual, fell upon her. <clears throat> Number nine, uh, <laughs> potluck supper, prayers and medication to follow. That's nice. Number 10, don't let worry. <laughs> Shit, why do I have to screw up on the last joke? 10. Don't let worry kill you. Let the church help. I'm not doing the second take. Fuck it. <laughs>